is a complete one-stop package. As an example here, we've got three or four of these machines, I can get one operator to run the three or four machines because they look after themselves and they run so well. West End Precision, a company that specialises in high precision, high volume turn parts right by the seaside. <laughs> Three facilities, a lot of growth recently as well. But I came up into the offices, Alex, and yeah. you told me about one particular brand that you love and have a great relationship with, and that's Star. Yeah, Star Dewey, they are fantastic. And it, it comes back to the relationship that we've got with the guys up there. We know the guys up there personally and as individuals, not just as the sales manager. Um, and the relationship is very good and very strong. They're honest people, the machines are very good. The opportunities they have when they, to put anything right is always there. They always answer the phone, everything we need from them, which is above and beyond what a machine tool can do. The staff do give us the complete package. And we'll cover, cover the machine tools in a few moments, but why is relationships so important to you when you're running a facility like this? What, what is it that your relationship with Matt from Star does for you? It gives me the confidence. It gives me the confidence knowing him and having bought a few machines now, he's demonstrated what he can do. Um, that's what we look for, that's what we need. It's, it makes us honest, it makes us, it's a bit different to a corporate business, just looking at the pound, shilling and pence of the machine. Actually, I can look at it as a whole package and look at it knowing the reliability I've got with Matt as to what he can offer. And let's talk about these machines. I think it's your fifth star overall. Yeah, it is overall, yes. Yep. Um, but you like their technology progression as well. Yes, it is. The way, the way they moved on with it. The, the, the recent air cut technology that's coming out on the J3s, it looks fantastic. We haven't got one yet, but we are in discussions about it. Um, but it does that, that sort of picking up on what one of the problems is in the industry, and they're dealing with it really well. So, yeah, well done to them. And for you as well, high volume, high precision. Yes. Why is it that these uh, machines kind of tick your boxes? The, the accuracy on them is good, and they run automatic. They've obviously, like, like many, most of the new stuff does, but the, the tooling packages on them are really good. The bar load is really good. That just it is a complete one stop package. As an example here, we've got three or four of these machines. I can get one operator to run the three or four machines because they look after themselves and they run so well, as opposed to other stuff, so the older stuff that it needs a little bit more looking after. And volumes, what are you talking about on these machines? Machine volume, probably 20,000 pieces of bits. Of that. We've got some stuff here that never stops. It just runs the same part all its life. And so when you're talking about volumes like that, yeah. Are you getting cycle time improvements with yes, newer technology time and time again? Yeah, absolutely. Have you got any case studies on that? Yes, yeah, so we're looking at a project now at the moment. Matt's quite involved with it. Um, there's a, a fitting that we make currently on a Wickman multi spindle machine, which is the old legacy of engineering. Lots of places have got them. We've still got an awful lot of them here. Um, but look around, most of them are being disposed of rather than being bought. So we recognise it moving forward. So we've got a project. We've got about make about a million pilots of these a year. So it gets laughed out the door if it's not on a Wickman. We are looking at that now with the cycle time. Now the cycle time of a sliding head machine, particularly the star stuff, is not the same as the Whitman, but the efficiency is an awful lot better, the product is an awful lot better, and level of investment wise, it, it almost makes sense to be able to do it because it gives me the opportunity to develop the business, future-proof the business, and put in a technology machine that I can, can get the, the youngsters, the youth of engineering to run, as opposed to try and find the, the youth of today to try and run a Whitman, because that's quite difficult. And you just said Matt gets involved in that, and I think yes. that's really important, is the fact that Maybe Matt sold, I don't know when the last machine went in, but you're telling me that the salesman from Star, as a brand like that, are looking at new projects and not just trying to sell you a machine with it, no. but improving your processes it's internally. Start, yeah, absolutely. And doing a comparison of what we're doing at the moment and looking at ways of helping us to make it better, you know, more efficient, more profitable. That's what we're all here for. Big investment as well. Absolutely. You're making big investments at the moment. Where are you, West End Precision, right now? And where do you want to be in five years' time? Whoa. Matt wants to hear that I'm going to have a factory full of star <laughs> machines. I expect that of whether we'll get that far, I don't know. But yeah, certainly looking at growth, we're not standing still. We, we've had an awful lot of investment in here, um, and, and it's still yeah, it's still charging forwards. So I'm certainly looking for the next 20 years.